All right, Kotaku, we are at PAX East, and we've got Animal Crossing for the 3DS, and Corey is going to show us what's new, what's special, what's great in the version coming to America. Cool. So this is Animal Crossing New Leaf, um, coming for Nintendo 3DS on June 9th. Now, for Animal Crossing fans, uh, one of the biggest differences between this and previous releases is that now you start the game as the mayor as soon as you come to your town. So uh, I've actually, I'm in town hall right now. I can sit on my uh, little mayor's chair here. And Isabel, my assistant, uh, can basically, you know, help me out with uh, a few different things as mayor. So you have a couple of cool things. Public works projects actually enable you to create these um, you know public projects in town so to give you an example of a few of these these are what my townspeople are currently asking for uh, to be built uh, so you've got a well uh, fountain park clock you'll notice all of these items uh, cost you know money to be built uh, one of the cool things is you don't have to front all of that money yourself some of your villagers as well as uh, friends that come to visit your town can also help make these projects come to life and make your town a more lively uh, place to visit. Um, in addition to being able to build these public works projects as mayor, you also are able to enact these uh, what are called ordinances. Um, currently we have what's called the Night Owl Ordinance in place, um, but if we want to see a few of the other ordinances, we can speak to Isabel. Um, the Night Owl Ordinance actually enables uh, the uh, town, it basically forces all of the animals in your town to keep their shops open a couple hours later in the evening. So if you're the type of person that comes home and plays Animal Crossing at night, uh, you know, you want those shops to still be open, you can make your animals keep those shops open later. Right, because just to a reminder, or maybe to people who don't know Animal Crossing, this is a game that's running essentially constantly, it's on a clock, it's on a month. We're actually playing on today's date right now, as we're yep. playing, or something close to it, March 22nd. So events happen in real time. The seasons change, holidays happen, all that Absolutely. Stuff, right? So it is beautiful springtime in, uh, in our town here called Treehouse. Uh, we've got more spring insects coming out. So, uh, so you, had, yeah, you had a few different ordinances you could set there. Another one was called Beautiful Town, which actually enables your flowers to stay beautiful without the constant need for uh, watering, which is great if you're lazy, but you still want to have a town that looks respectable. Um, as we exit uh, Town Hall here, one thing you'll notice on the bottom screen of uh, the Nintendo 3DS is you've got three different uh, bridges over the river. When you first start your town, you're only going to have one bridge. Um, those extra bridges were actually built as public works projects, um, and you can actually decide where you want those bridges to be placed as well. So again, a lot of customization comes with being the mayor, not only for your home and your personal uh, self, but the town as well. Um, next up, we're going to go shopping a little bit up here on the main street. There's a lot of different shops all in a row, which makes it really convenient to do your you know, daily, daily shopping. Of course, you've got your museum here. Um, you've got a photo booth. Uh, one of the new things is Club LOL, which is a brand new nightclub. On Saturday night, you're going to have these uh, acoustic sets by, uh, you know, KK Slider. But if you're not able to get there on Saturday night, uh, DJ KK actually spins records on weeknights, which is cool. Um, we'll take a peek into Nook's Homes here briefly, which uh, you'll, you'll notice a familiar face in here, Tom Nook, although he is not kind of your boss anymore. You're not as, because you're the mayor, you are no longer just in constant debt to Tom Nook, but he does run this store called uh, Nook's Homes, which allows you to customize the outside of your house, uh, down to the door, mailboxes, shingles. Uh, if you want to have a more customized look, uh, you can actually just choose something that's all in one. So if you want that mansion style, you can go for that. Now, of course, it will come at a price, so uh, Tom Nook, is, uh, his prices aren't cheap. So. You may still find yourself in debt to Tom Nook at different, at various times. So Tom Nook is still the villain of Animal <laughs> Crossing. Um, up here, we've actually got uh, Digby, a new character. He's the brother of Isabel. Um, he actually runs the street pass area of the game called Happy Home Showcase. Now, we won't actually go visit it today, but the cool thing about it is uh, when you street pass with other players, you'll be able to uh, visit their homes. And so you can see uh, you know, what they, what, how they've designed their houses. If you find things in their houses that you like, you'll actually be able to special order them and have, um, have them at your house as well. Um, you've got your uh, 
general store run by uh, Timmy and Tommy here. Uh, the Abel sisters have returned. They own, they run a clothing shop. Um, there's a really wide assortment of clothing options you've got in this game, so um, there's Mabel greeting us here. You're gonna have your, uh, you know, long sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirts, pants, shorts, umbrellas. Uh, you've got dresses down here you can choose from. Let's go ahead and throw on uh, the fiendish shirt. So, of course, everything you can try on before you buy it. Um, the nice thing is if you find something you like, instead of actually having to put it in your inventory, you can just wear it out and just keep it on. It's pretty cool. Um, you'll notice this giant sewing machine here. That actually allows for QR code integration. So, you know, if, if you don't find, if, if nothing in the store uh, fits you, create your own design on the touch screen. You can share that with friends on the internet uh, via QR code. Um, You've also got another Able sister next door who kind of sells accessories and hats. Um, today's selection, it looks like she's got a nice knitted cap. Since we're here in Boston, it's kind of chilly. We'll go ahead and throw on a knitted cap. And we'll keep it on. All right. And again, all of these items are going to change every day. So it's really uh, worthwhile to visit every day. You, you never know what's going to be in the store. You might have a, uh, a diver's mask tomorrow in there or a hockey mask or something. Um, one brand new store to the series is called Kix. Um, fans of the Animal Crossing series uh, will recognize this character here, a skunk named Kix. Um, as you can imagine, it is a shoe store, so you're going to have different kinds of shoes, boots. Um, Kix even sells socks. And just like the uh, clothing store, you can try on the shoes before you buy them. Um, one interesting note, though, is the socks actually just must be purchased. You are not allowed to try on the socks. I, I don't know if that's out of hygiene, but... Uh, so now that we've got our new look, we will head back to town. Um, on our way back, you can see on the top of the Able Sisters building, there's actually uh, the a salon called Shampoodle, where you can customize your look even further. Are we doing a lot of the gameplay that we were doing the previous one, digging up fossils and so fishing? All of those items, yeah, all of those tools um, in the previous games are back. So you'll notice I'm carrying the shovel. I can dig up fossils. Um, I've got my uh, fishing rod as well, so you can go fishing in the game. Um, and are those similar to how they were? Are they more skill-based than they used to be, or pretty simple still? They're but... all going to be very simple uh, for users to, uh, to do. Um, you do have one new item, uh, which is the wetsuit, which allows you to go uh, fishing kind of on the ocean floor. Uh, one thing, we'll, we'll stop in the house really quickly, show you a little bit of what you can expect in, in the house. It looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a while, so we've actually got cockroaches, but uh, there are tons of items you can uh, collect in this game. Right now, what we're seeing is a uh, conveyor belt sushi. We've got some Chinese food on the table and a dessert tray. Um, one of the minor things you're able to do, which is still kind of, kind of cool, is you can actually uh, look 360 degrees around the room. Um, and of course, the game allows you to take photos with the L and R buttons, so at any moment, you can take a photo, save it to the SD card, share it with friends. You'll also notice uh, a new feature is the ability to have items to hang on the wall, which is uh, brand new to the series. Um, and then, of course, you can expand your house as you continue to play the game, earn more money, more bells. Uh, you can add extra rooms. You can make the rooms bigger. And in this room, you'll see that you know, I've got another cockroach in here. Uh, everything's matching. These items actually came from the Carnival uh, collection, which, of course, was on the holiday of Carnival, a uh, special celebration in the town and uh, we were able to collect a lot of those cool pieces of furniture. So uh, again, you saw some stairs that led to the second story. So when you start out, your house is actually very small, but you're able to start increasing it uh, at a pretty quickly rate, pretty quick rate. Um, you've got a little bit, uh, you're seeing some of the external decorations you can do to your house. So uh, a little bit of a Japanese theme going on here. Um, the last place we will visit is down here on the docks there is a familiar face named Cap'n. 
and Cap'n will take you to a tropical island where it's always summer for 1,000 bells. So no matter what season it is in your town, you can go collect summer fruits or summer fish. Um, uh, you'll notice there's actually four seats on the boat as well. So up to four players can play this game via local, wireless, or over Wi-Fi. Um, they can come visit your town and they can actually hop on the boat with you and take a trip to the island. Um, it will take a few minutes to get over to the island and because of that, uh, the captain will actually sing a sea shanty to pass the time. We, we can't hear the music because we're at noisy PAX East for the public <laughs> end. It's almost a nice little karaoke style. I'm not say, I'm not <laughs> you can say. So we didn't see any Nintendo themed content, but there's a lot of familiar stuff that people are gonna find in the game, right? It's there yeah part for of this series. For Nintendo fans, if you know, if you are, if you're just a fan of Nintendo, if you're a fan of the, uh, the Nintendo GameCube version, there's a lot of uh, content that you're going to find in this game that is uh, that is going to please fans. Yeah. So the fun thing about uh, Cap and Sea Shanties too is almost every time it's going to be a different uh, a different song to enjoy. Um, once we land on this island, one of the very first things you'll notice when we arrive is that there's actually an entire family of these Kappa creatures uh, that live on the island. So on the right here, you've got Grams. She runs the souvenir shop. Um, and again, they sell things that you can only buy on the island, um, but they have their own unique currency. So uh, you'll see in the upper right, there's actually, uh, they take metals only. They do not use bells. So in order to earn metals, you actually come over here and speak to Leilani, and she runs the uh, tours. Um, and if you want to go on a tour, a tour is basically a, a mini game, essentially, that lasts anywhere from three to five minutes. Um, it's going to be a competition, like, you know, how fast can you collect um, cicadas? How many, you know, how many can you collect in, in time? Um, how fast can you get to the end of, like, a hedge maze? Um, they vary in difficulty. Um, and again, the better you perform in these tours, the more medals you're going to earn. Um, one note is all of these uh, tours can be played from anywhere from one to four players. So um, again, it's a really fun way to uh, play the game when you've got multiple people visiting your town. Uh, the last thing we will do is come down here and grab a wetsuit from Lloyd the Gyroid. Um, we actually were not able to bring our um, our own goods to the island, so we'll have to borrow them from the friendly gyroid. So I can just borrow if you want to fish, catch insects, whatever you want to do. So head over to the water and just slide the wetsuit on. Kind of contrasting styles. I've got my knit cap and my so for the first time in the Animal Crossing franchise, you can enter the ocean. Uh, you can actually dive down, look on the ocean floor for treasure or these you know, living creatures, as long as you can hold your breath. Um, what we're actually looking for are these kind of shadows that are on the ocean floor. You, you, you might be able to find them if you see some bubbles coming up. Uh, watch out for the jellyfish. Those will actually sting you. And see if I can find a creature. It's early in the morning, maybe they don't want to come out. There we go, we've got some bubbles up here. And dive down, what we got? Nice, spotted garden eel. So this is actually an entire new category of creatures. Oh, watch, oh no, of course I got stung. Bad demonstrator, so go grab one more item down here. Uh, th and there's octopus. Oh, another garden eel. Uh, you can get octopus, uh, lobsters, um, seaweed down here. And again, as I mentioned, if you go into your library, you can see that, uh, you know, you've always, you've got your insects, you've got your fish, and then you've got a brand new category, which is your kind of creatures that are on the ocean floor.
Um, and again, the re cool reason to come to the island, it's always summer here, so you can come, come here, grab some mangoes, take those back to your town, and have some mangoes, uh, tropical fruit in your town. Um, those are the really big features of the game, though. Um, again, you're the mayor right from the start, so you've got all the power, um, customization, lots of new shops, um, and you've got multiplayer as well, street pass compatibility. Um, but yeah, the game comes out June 9th. Uh, it'll be available on Nintendo eShop as well as uh, physical retail. All right, so. Corey, thanks a lot. No worries.